I found a tool that edits my videos in just three clicks. And I've been using it to save, at this point, probably hundreds of hours of editing. In fact, it was used to edit the video you're watching right now. So keep watching and I'll show you how it works and how to use it. Now, this all started about a year ago. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm obsessed with trying to save time because when you think about it, the biggest thing stopping all of us from having a more successful YouTube channel and getting more views is a lack of time. If you had an extra 20 hours to spend on YouTube a week, how many extra videos would you be able to make? How much better would your thumbnails be? How much more researching and learning would you be able to do on how to grow a channel? Now, unfortunately, we can't just manifest an extra 20 hours a week. Trust me, I tried. But what we can do is find a way to work more efficiently so we can get some hours back and then spend those hours on other things. And that's why one year ago, when my video editor showed me this open source auto video editing code he found on GitHub, I was super pumped. It was my first step into the world of auto editing. And while it was basic, what it could do was still pretty amazing. It takes your audio track and it cuts out all of the pauses automatically. So if you record voiceovers or longer commentary videos like gaming videos, it cuts out the bits where you're not talking, which are usually the bits where nothing interesting is happening anyway, and saves you having to go through the entire file trying to find the interesting bits. Once this code removes all of the silence from your video, you can actually export it as an editable file into your video editor. So then that way you can open it up in your video editing software software and edit the cuts it's made by clicking and dragging out the footage when it say cut out a bit of silence that you actually wanted to keep. But wait, before you go to GitHub and try and find and download this auto editor, you need to know there's a problem with this code. And that is, well, it's, it's code. So it's super technical and painful for the average person to figure out, which is why I never made a video about it. But recently I was talking to one of my course students. They were complaining about how much time video editing took up for them. And it got me thinking, since I first discovered this auto editing code a year ago, AI has been progressing in leaps and bounds. Surely there must be something out there now that you don't need to be a Python developer to use. And so I set out on a quest to find an auto editor that worked for regular people. And what I found was more exciting than I could have hoped. My search uncovered seven tools and I looked at each of them in depth and basically the best one is a software called Timebolt. But you might be wondering, well, why is it the best software out there? Well, there's a number of reasons, but the main ones are, firstly, it has the most in-depth settings and options. So it's super customizable and advanced, which can be a little bit confusing at first, but ultimately lets you do so much more cool stuff in the long run when you learn how to use it, like I'll show you in a second. It also edits video as well as audio and it can also edit multi-cam setups. So multi multiple video tracks and audio tracks and keep everything in sync. It also has an additional tool called UmCheck where you can basically type in words that you don't want in your voiceover or video. So an example might be um, ah, uh, like, you know, filler stuff. And then it will automatically go through your video and cut all of that out. And one of my favorite features of Timebolt is that it actually has a direct plugin for Premiere. So I can actually do all of my automatic video editing directly within Premiere and just make it a natural part of my workflow. So that way I don't even have to open up a second application. And it has a bunch of other cool features that, I mean, let's just open up the software and I'll show you how it works. All right, I've cranked up Timebolt. And the first step to using this is to actually select the video or audio file that you want to edit. Now, like I said earlier, you can actually edit some very advanced files with multiple tracks and multiple cameras and it will keep everything in sync. But for the sake of this video, let's just keep things simple. And let me just show you how I edit the first part of this video. So you just click select your audio file. So once you selected your audio, it'll load up. What you can see here is I have a timeline of one track, just one piece of audio. And if I scroll through this timeline, you'll see there are red bits and green bits. The red bits, as you can see from the waveforms in this audio, they're all silences. And what Timebolt's done is it's automatically cut them out. Anything red means it's going to remove it. This video file used to be over eight minutes. Now you can see it's under five. And not only does that mean I have to do less cutting for this video, but it also means I have to go through and sit through less footage. Now, if you have multiple audio tracks and multiple video tracks, you can click up here and you'll be able to switch between them. The other thing that's kind of cool is over here, I can change my playback rate. So I can actually play back this video at a faster speed. So when I'm going through my timeline, I don't have to listen to it at a normal speed, which again, just saves more time. I'm going to actually going to change my playback rate to say 1.5. So it's just going to go a bit faster. And so basically how you start is you come over here and you can click play or you can just hit space bar on your keyboard. All right. Um, this is me recording the how oh, this is me recording the AI auto video editing video. So what you can see is as I'm playing this video, it's actually jumping over the silences automatically. So I only have to listen to the bits where there's actually stuff being said. Now this is me just adding some recording notes to my editors so they know what part of the video is what. If I was editing this video, I actually don't want those bits in my end product. And so all I have to do is click on these top bars. What it's gonna do is it's gonna make those go red and time bolt's gonna automatically cut those out of the render as well. Then I just click up to the next bit of green. Now 
Now, this all started about a year ago. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm obsessed with trying to save time because when you think about it, the biggest thing stopping all of us from having a more successful YouTube channel. So there's a little bit of a pause there that Timebot actually didn't cut out that I think I probably would here. Because when you think about it, I can just hit S on my keyboard here, move it to the end of the signs, hit S again, then click on that little bit there. It's going to make it red and it's going to get rid of it. Now, if I played this back, save time. Because when you think about it, the biggest thing stopping all it just jumps over it. And now basically I'm just gonna go through this video and just keep doing what I've been showing you. So I've now gone through this entire video at 2x speed and you can see I've pretty much cleaned up my entire audio track. Now what I did notice is that before this video I actually changed my mic settings a little bit. And what's starting to happen is that it's cutting off the beginning of some of my words sometimes. So all I would do is I would come in here and left padding, so that's on the left hand side, I would just increase that by a little bit. So like from 0.1 to 0.2. And then what that will do is it will just give the beginning bits of each cut a little bit more padding. So it's not gonna cut off those additional words. But I actually didn't find it cutting off that many. So I'll probably keep it as it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, click on save timeline cuts. It's gonna save that. And now what I wanna do is show you a couple more advanced features that can make your life a lot easier. Now, if you click up here, Time Bolt has a bunch of cool keyboard shortcuts. Basically, they'll just make going through the process I just showed you a lot faster because you'll just be able to click keyboard shortcuts as opposed to actually clicking buttons. Another thing that's very cool that unfortunately I wasn't able to show you because I was using an audio track here is the punch in setting. Basically, a technique a lot of editors like to use in talking head videos to disguise cuts and help the video flow better is to punch in when a cut happens and then punch out when the next cut happens. Kind of like the example I'm showing you on screen. Now to do this in a video editing software, you would normally need to add keyframes, which again takes many multiple clicks. But in Time Bolt, all you have to do is click P and it will automatically punch in or punch out on your footage. And you can change the exact positioning of that that punch in or punch out by holding down the alt or option key and then pressing the arrow keys. Now, normally a straight jump cut, like just it going from one scene to the other without a transition is fine. Often it looks better than a transition. But if for some reason in your case, you think it would look better with transitions in between your clips, come down here, you can click on this apply transitions button, select the transition that you want in between each of your cuts, select the duration of that transition. And then in between each of your cuts, it's going to apply that transition automatically. You can also select background music, which I don't usually do in here. I normally just do that in my editing program. Now you can just render this video out and it will just become an audio file without all the silences. But what I really like to do is render it out in a file type that is going to be editable in my video editing program. And on screen, I'll show the different file types that you need to render as to make it compatible for your video editing software. Me, I use Premiere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to render it as an XML file. I'm going to set my frame rate to whatever my frame rate is. So if I have a video, my video's frame rate, like the footage is recorded in 60 frames per second. I'd change this to 60. If it's recorded in 25, I change this to 25. Again, I'm just using audio. So frame rate doesn't really matter to me, but I'm just going to click on now export XML file and already it's finished. I can click here. It's going to open up my XML file. You can see here. And then all I have to do is grab this file, drag it into my video editing software. And what you can see now is it's got this little timeline here. I'm just going to open up a new sequence and I'm going to grab that timeline. You don't have to create a new sequence, by the way, I'm going to grab that timeline and I'm going to drop it into this sequence here. And this is my audio file with all the silences removed. But what's really cool is I can double click in here, open up this sequence. And what you can see is all of the cuts Time Bolt's made, they're actually editable in Premiere. So for example, let's say this bit, it actually cut out a bit that I didn't want, or maybe I wanted to add in a bit of extra footage, added context, but there was no talking at that particular time. That's fine. All I have to do, drag these over here, drag my audio out like so. And as you can see, the original audio is still there completely undamaged, even though it's been cut by Time Bolt. So as you can probably tell, I'm pretty excited about this. I've stopped using the code and I've switched to Time Bolt. And if you want to check out Time Bolt yourself, check out the link down below. Now this video is not sponsored. I'm actually paying out of my own pocket to use Time Bolt, but I do get a small kickback if you purchase my link. So you'll be supporting this channel while also taking your channel to the next level and saving a crap ton of time when it comes to editing. So check out that link down below. But if you're not interested in that on screen, I have another video where I'll show you a pretty unique way to grow your YouTube channel. So feel free to check that out now.